Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector here in White Oak, PA. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing a finally completed set of Ghostbusters Afterlife Retro 80s Ghost. Busters and Retro 84 Ghostbusters and an Ecto-1. My first Ecto-1 here on the channel. But before we show off Ecto-1, we're going to look at the first thing in our pile of Ghostbusters. Sorry, correction moment. Our first figure in our pile of Ghostbusters. But first, we're going to look at the package in here. We got a nice package in of the fourth member of the Ghostbusters crew. Ghostbusters Race Stand 1984 Edition. Some nice artwork of Ray. Product shot of the Ghost Fright feature. Race Stance bio. And what the Ghost does. And that's all there is to say. For the packaging, let's look at the figure itself. Get a nice looking figure of good old Ray, and that looks really nice. I dig it. It's the same poseability as these guys. Kick, kick up that far, it can't kick back. Kick up that far, arm can do a full part of a full 360. Same with the other arm. Not much posability. Head can move due to the hinge. No bend, bend in neck, which is a shame. And that's Ray for you. Now for comparison. Here he is next to Egon. Followed by Peter. And followed by... Fourth member of the team, Winston. That's all there is to say for the Ghostbusters part of this review. Next, we're going to look at the ghosts one by one. First, we got this creepy ghost. And man, is he ugly looking. <laughs> but when you press the button, he becomes twice as ugly. Ooh, man, that's freaky, right? Gross and freaky. <laughs> Next on the list, next ghost we're going to compare this to. We got the Keymaker or the Gatekeeper, one of Dozer's Hounds. Or the Fright Hound, as this figure is called in the packaging. He can go blah, 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 blah. That's what he does. We got the Chubby Ghost, which I did a skit on if you didn't don't remember that. And you split open and his chest becomes freaky looking. That's all there is to say for that ghost. And finally, for the last ghost for comparison, it's the good old member of the Ghostbusters team from the animated cartoon, The Real Ghostbusters. It's Slimer. And I like Slimer. He has got the same split gimmick as this guy. They all got a split gimmick, if you know what I mean. Some of them, except for one. And that's all there is to say for the first wave of figures. Now we're going to look at the Ecto-1 playset Ghostbusters car. Get a nice product shot of the Ghostbusters kids. I don't have any of them yet, but I got the car. Ain't that nice? Get a nice product shot of... One of the Ghostbusters drive in the car. Ghostbusters Ecto-1 playset. And a whole bunch of other words. Look at the back back of the box to get a product shot of Ecto-1 and the other and the other figures. In this line. Which I am going to try to get the other four Ghostbusters in this line and complete my set. But for now this is a good looking Ecto-1, and I'm so glad to have an Ecto-1. Now we're going to look at Ecto-1 itself. 
got a nice, nice paint sculpt, nice sculpting. I love this figure. I love this vehicle playset. And you can put this on the chair once you open the door. You can have the Ghostbusters riding inside, but I'll show that off in due time. First, we're going to open the doors like so. And then we got some places to put our Ghostbusters. But we can, can we have all four Ghostbusters riding inside? Indeed we can. It's just a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky because these figures are pretty, pretty uh, thick to put in the driver's seat and junk. Got Ray driving. And I'm going to show you we can fit all four Ghostbusters in this one car. Put in Egon. Come on, Egon. And then you can put this turret here on the door seat. And you can go bust in some ghosts. It's the play feature option. And on my copy, he doesn't stay completely connected. But you can totally get him doing that. If you want to. It's your toy. Do as you wish. But now we're going to load up as many of the Ghostbusters as we can fit in this car. How many do you think we can fit? Can we fit all four? You'll find out. If we can fit them all. Egon, come on, Egon, in the car, in the car. There's Egon, fitted in there with some difficulty. Winston, we got Winston in almost. And finally, we're going to put Dr. Bankman, ah, in the car, but the seat pops loose on my copy. I don't know why it keeps popping loose on my copy from 2021, but it just does. Come on, Ray. Come on, Peter. And we got all four Ghostbusters in the car, ready to bust some ghosts, drive off and bust some ghosts, and you can fit them all in the car at once, which is good, with some effort. Is a Ghostbusters Afterlife Ecto-1 worth adding to your Ghostbusters collection if you're a Ghostbusters fan. Yes, it is worth it. And if you can get all four of the classic Ghostbusters and put them in this legendary vehicle, I highly recommend you pick this up. Now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.